Well, hello, my spooky gumdrops, and welcome. So, as you can tell by today's video, it's gonna be another secondhand slash thrift shopping video. So, as you can tell, I do look a little bit different today. I tried to do something different with my makeup. Speaking of thrifting, though, I have my Killstar Pandora shirt dress on right now. So, let's get right into it. Again, these are items um, from months ago when I first purchased them. By the way, I'm not sure if you guys can see how horrible this wig is. Uh, the one that I got from Walmart, I thought it was going to be a little bit better. It is not. Starting off, we have this dress. This is by Hell Bunny. And I'm just now noticing the seller did not tell me that it was ripped. And there is a hole in the back right here, so I'm going to have to get that repaired. But there is sharing in the back. It is stretchy because of that. There are some buttons down the front. They kind of like blend in and everything. It's just for decor anyway. Buttons I'm probably also going to have to fix. It is pretty much a beautiful dress. It just sucks that there's a couple of imperfections and that the seller did not tell me and that I did not notice ahead of time. Oh, I'm just now noticing this dress also has pockets. They are small, but like it's all the same. The main reason why I got it is because of the time box and like the flowers and stuff kind of reminded me a little bit of Alice in Wonderland. This is another Hell Bunny dress. This is in an extra large and this one I do believe that I thoroughly checked multiple times. Um, and there are no imperfections in the this dress. But it's got like a black cloth panel that separates the dress from the straps. I thought that was a nice touch. Oh, uh, just like the last one too, there are adjustable straps. I don't think I mentioned that. No pockets in this one, unfortunately. Oh well. This kind of reminded me of something that Simply Spooky might wear. It has like a little tool at the bottom, like mesh tool. So overall, I just thought this dress was gorgeous. Also, there is minimal sharing around the bust and back line, but none around the waist. By the way, so far, all of these things I got on either Poshmark or Macari. If you are interested in shopping in my closet, I am selling a lot of stuff. Um, the link to my shop will be down below. This next thing, as you guys have known in the past, if you are an old time subscriber, I am obsessed with Mary Wyatt. And now I saw this, I believe this is a men's extra large, but it has these little things on the sleeve here. I find super adorable. I believe this is called the Saints and Sinners top, something like that. It is red, and it will go very well with my aesthetic. The next thing that I have for you guys is actually from Bell's Club. Now again, this is second hand, so don't judge me too much for it. But uh, this is in an extra large as well. Um, but it just has eyes all over the sleeves, and then it says creep it. And it is another, like, t-shirt dress. I thought that would be cute with, like, my Killstar Luna high tops and whatnot. The last thing, and this is something that I'm gonna be obsessed with. This is by an old brand, still around, but older brand, called Jailbreaker. And it is this little sweater dress with slits down the sides, little skeleton hand flowers. I'm just obsessed with this, guys. Plus, I'm not sure if you can see, but it is sparkly. This is, again, like, it's 100% polyester. But if you guys are, like, sensitive to feelings, I would not get this dress because it is, it can be very itchy because it's the itchy sweater material. Also, it has a belt as well, made of the same material and it does come on belt loops. So if you don't want the belt, you can always replace it. Now 
the last couple of things that I got are from my local thrift village, I believe. Um, first thing, these socks. I'm looking for more high socks, but these are just uh, black owls with white faces, and they're on white socks. Now these last couple of things I did actually just get from my local thrift village. And this first one is from an old brand called Rockin' Republic. This one, I'm not sure if they're still around. This is the same length as the Jawbreaker dress. And it is just dark green and plaid. Not sure if the camera's picking up the green, but it, it's more so like the color of my nail, but a little bit darker. It also does have like rolled up sleeves. And I'm not sure if you guys remember from when I thrifted my pleather jacket. That is the same brand right here. The one with the studs on it. The last thing that I have, this is more of like a corp goth, corp punk type of skirt. It's just a pencil skirt. This one actually does come down about six inches below my knee, so like halfway down my calf, calf almost. Um, it is made of a, it's like a pantsuit material. It does have many pockets here, I'm but not, there are many, but there are pockets, so I'm very happy about that. And obviously it comes with a belt. This is similar to the uh, one pleather skirt that I got a while ago. This is the same material as this skirt, but it's got the o-ring on it. So, thank you guys again very much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of my goofy content, because I make a bunch of different videos. My makeup is not always on sleep, but I do plan on um, making some makeup videos. It won't be tutorials, because I myself am still learning. But if you guys are interested, please do subscribe, because I will be making more of that content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys when you comment and like these videos, because it really does help my channel. I'm still small, still growing, and I think I got about 270 subscribers around about. So the more subscribers I get, the more I'll know that you guys really do like this content, and the more videos I will keep making. So until next time, guys, keep on rocking. Love you lots.